there we go. I don't know what that is, but it's big. It's big. Uh, yeah, it's big. <laughs> What's happening, everybody? This is going to be a new uh, segment to Want to Go Fishing. And we're going to call it Tailgate Talk. Now, originally, Tailgate Talk, when I thought it up, would be on the actual tailgate of Booger, my, my 68 Chevy truck, or my other truck, my 2004 2500. But you know, a tailgate comes on a lot of things. So here we are on the tailgate of a golf cart. The main reason that this happened is because it is absolutely pouring today. Um, well, it, it didn't start pouring until, you know, I got home and decided to do this. But hey, you know, the tailgate of a golf cart's okay. That's fine. It's cool. It's nice under here. It's enjoyable, pleasant, listening to the rain. Yeah, yeah, you can listen to the rhythm of the falling rain. Anyway, on this episode, we are going to be doing a little review of something that a friend of mine from Instagram, Ham Needs to Fish. Hamilton Bell, I believe is his name. After doing the trout magnet episode, he turned me on to this. TCB series made by Leland, or put out by Leland by the B&M uh, company. It's a combo made strictly for, and it's not made strictly for, but they designed it around trout, crappie, and bluegill. Well, come to find out, TCB, that B may not be just for bluegill. You're getting ready to find it out. I did. But anyway, this little combo runs about 70 bucks. Um, it's a six and a half foot rod, three bearing reel on a really cool, and I mean cool, rod. So hey, take a look at that. When this is all said and done, you might be ordering one of these guys. I'm not kidding. See you back here in just a minute. better than nothing. That beats a skunk any day of the week. Okay, we got something. And it's, it's jumping. So, I really felt that that was a great tag. Very sensitive rod. bad. It's fun on that little thing. Rod's got a lot of flex to it. There we go. That's what we need. Just a little something something. Come here a little something something. That's right. From now on, this point in life, just a little something something. It's extremely muddy. Sorry. Give me your lip. There you go. Let's spin it around so we can see the name and everything. Okay. Leland TCB Series Trout Crappy Bluegill by B&M. Uh, I'm enjoying this. Really got a good feel to it. It's extremely sensitive. The, the, the connection with the fish when they bite. Man, it's... You feel it. We got something there. We got something there. Come on over here to me. We got another little bass going on there. I'm gonna tell you what, for a long skinny rod, setting the hook with this thing is great. Hmm, little fella. 
hiding under the bushes over there. And there's a muskrat swimming through the water. There we go. There we go. Yes, that's that's impressive. Never used one of these baits in here before. Doing some jigging. Catching bass. Doing some jigging. Catching bass. Come on in here, big feller. I'm really digging the pole, I gotta say. And the reel is not bad. There you go. That's what I'm using. Oh, pole fell off me again. Not bad. Not bad. There we go. There we go. There we go. They needed to add bass to this daggone list on this fishing. The fish this thing catches. So they're out deep. They're out. Sh they're shallow. They're a little bit everywhere. Okay, so this is going to give us a chance to change reels. That is what we're going to go do. I'm going to go put on a Mr. Trout with some, I think it's four pound test uh, trout magnet I have on there. It might be two. And let's just see if there's any major difference. All right, this is what we're putting on here. This is a Mr. Trout by Lou's. I found it to be a very good little reel. And let's just see if there's any major difference. Uh, I, it's really going to have to work hard to, to beat the cast distance that I'm getting out of the uh, reel that came on the Pro 50. So let's just see. Okay, here's what we're going to do here. We're going to use this little bait, but we're going to use it on one of the 164th ounce uh, jig heads made by Trout Magnet. There we go. There we go. Yeah, they definitely need to add bass to the list of fish this thing catches. Mm hmm. Seem to be all about the same size this morning, fellas. But anything bigger than that would really be fun, I can tell you. There he is. He was under that bush. He was under the bush. The little bass, man, are everywhere today. There we go. Well, they are really liking this little setup right here. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. There we go. There we go. And another bass. My gosh. Should have brought the net because it's getting a little bit hard to hoist these guys in with the two pound line. Oh, something took a chunk out of your tail. You got, you're odd. But thanks for playing anyway. gotta be kidding me he was hungry I have a strange suspicion that there is hardly any grease at all inside this reel it feels kind of metal to metal to me which I can't say that you know even the high dollar dudes do that but that's what it feels like we're gonna find out though I can gear and doggone to you that I'll be happy when that modern day Paul Bunyan quits over there. It'll be a nice peaceful day out here. No wind, a little bit of drizzle. And what do we got here? Two cycle annoyance. All because he can't cast. <laughs> 
That's just wrong. It's truth, but it's wrong. That's what we're talking about. That's what we're talking about. Even if you got to drop it right on your head, that's that's fine. Well, in true want to go fishing fashion, fishing fat, true fought fishing fashion, man, that's hard to say. Battery died on the GoPro while I cast it. Caught something pretty good sized in the middle out here. I was using the two pound line, got it all the way up here to this pier right here, and she broke it. He broke it, they broke it, something broke it. And now the rain is here. So let me just say this, and I'm probably gonna say this again when we do the review. If you are not willing to accept the loss of a large fish due to um, thin line, you know, using small line, because some big fish, big fish have a tendency to bite small lures and small baits. I mean, what I'm using right there is a little basically panfish crappy jig and that bass probably fell into the two and a half pound range i got him to about this point right here and he went down and took off and snapped the line like he wasn't even connected to it so if you are not willing to accept the loss of a large fish it'd be better for you to stay in the four pound to six pound realm which is why I put this one back on because it is basically uh, set up with four pound line. What am I, what am I dealing with here? What, what is this? What's going on here? You're not jumping. You're, you're probably not what I think you are. You're probably something bigger. There, finally. That took 604 hours. Look at that. This is what we have been trying to accomplish. Now that is a handful of fish right there. I'm not kidding. That right there will hurt you badly. We'll try to show you how thick he is. Right now he's peeing all over me. Look at the thickness on that guy. And all on this guy here. That is just the coolest thing ever. Let's get him over here. That's a lot of fish. Oh, there's a lot of fish that he rammed that. God, he jammed that spine in my finger all the way to my hip bone. Stop it. Go. Yes, sir. See that blood? See that? He jammed that sucker right in me. Nope, right in the bushes. I mean, I can't blame them. That's where they want to go. Yep, he was in the bushes. Oh, what have we got here? Holy crappie fish. We've got a crappie fish. What in the devil? Where have you been? How have you managed to stay alive all this time with these big fish in here? Nice little guy. Well, thank you. I appreciate you doing that. Oh, you've got to be kidding. Oh, I see you. I see you. I can get you. I can't get you. That was another crappie. He was under the bush too. Now what we're going to do is cast over that limb and jig. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Because, you know, that's what I meant to do. We'll get it up there as close as we can. And while it's spinning 3,000 miles an hour, we're going to give it a whoop to Daisy. Where'd it go? That was crazy. I jerked it out of the bush and it went in the water and I almost caught a fish. That, that's nuts. I ain't kidding. Let's try that again. That was nuts. A fish actually came out from under these lily poodle pug things, whatever they are. There he is. 
There he is. That's all I had to do. That is, oh, oh my goodness. It was a bass just sitting there. Come here to me. You were hungry, I can tell. All I did was flip it right over there in front of those weeds and that guy hit. All right, we're trying a different spot. Now basically where this is at is just one yard over from where I normally fish. I really want to go for that big crappie. So we're trying big crappie, crossing our fingers, and smacking mayflies. There we go. I don't know what that is, but it's big. It's big. It's big. It is big. Uh, yeah, it's big. <laughs> We're gonna fight with him. It's big. He is trying his best to. We are gonna play this guy until our livers fall out. Oh boy. I'm going to tire you out. I am not playing. I am tiring you out. That was a big fish right there. That is probably the biggest fish I have caught in here. We are going to have to wear him out. Look at that. That is a beast caught on that. All right. That is that is my personal best in here. That's probably my personal best altogether. In a spider room arm. That is a big, big bass. And we got him in on four pound test on the TCB Leland rod. Let's see if we can do this. I'm getting wet for this one. So how about that? I tell you, I've used a lot of equipment. Old stuff, new stuff. I've had an incredible time using this guy here. I'm not, I'm not kidding. I am not kidding. I'm gonna look close up there at that. See that. Here's what I found out about this thing. It's incredibly easy to aim this rod and reel combo where you want it to go and put it where you want it to go. Setting the hook is a dream. This thing, uh, there's a point on here where when you set the hook and it starts to flex, that it goes into a mode that it's almost not the same rod anymore. And I mean that in a good way. It's like as soon as, uh, it's like arm wrestling, you know, when you grab somebody's arm and, and they first, well, that's the same way with the way this thing acts. It's incredibly easy to use, it's incredibly easy to cast, to retrieve with, but when you set the hook with this thing, it's just like arm wrestling, like when that first person, when they push against you and you, you push back, that thing sets the hook like that. It's amazing, and it's, its flex is just to a point to that point where you want it to stop you know and i'm really 
really impressed with this thing. Um, I've heard I've heard tell uh, about the reel itself that people were like, eh, they could have put a better reel on it or whatever. Um, yes, there are better reels out there, but I do have to say that I could use uh, the one that came on it easily all the time on it without a problem. Uh, but that's me. That's personal opinion. That's what I think. Because um, I did switch over to the, the Mr. Trout uh, by Luz, which I have to look at. Something's not jiving right with that thing. Now, I have two of these, and, and one of them works really well, but this one was giving me a little bit of a fit. So uh, I took it off and put yeah, the original reel back on again, the, the B&M reel back on it. I, it did fine. It's 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 smooth enough. It does what I wanted to do. I, it did fine, and I'm gonna tell you what that bass. Though I didn't weigh it, where I had gone into the neighbor's next yard, my stuff was a hundred yards the other direction, and I just wasn't going to keep him out of the water that long. It just wasn't right to do that. So I'm gonna show you. Um, this is the tag. Let's see if you can see that that comes on it so you'll know exactly what it is um, you see that and TCB series combo um, there's there's just when something's really good you don't have to talk about it a lot and I don't feel like I have to talk about this thing a lot this is a great little combo um, I wouldn't have any problem whatsoever ordering another one of these there it is. I got it. It's okay. Let's put it up here. You can, maybe you can see it. There we go. Here's what I say. Take it however you want. It's a great combo. The rod is better than the reel, but the reel will suffice. Don't have a problem with it at all. So, for our very first tailgate talk, this is Willie signing off. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you look into this. It's a great combo. I am easily going to find myself at some point getting another one. So I have two just in case. So, hey, thanks for watching. Talk to you next time.